Now let us design a CFG to accept balanced parenthesis. Now, uh, before we proceed into designing part, we will have to go through parenthesis. Now see, parenthesis can be this one, parenthesis can be small brackets, parenthesis can be square brackets. So this is flower bracket, small bracket and square bracket. Now what do you mean by balanced parenthesis? That we have to understand first. Any expression which has equal number of open and closed parenthesis is called as balanced parenthesis. This is a balanced parenthesis. Now which is not balanced parenthesis that is if we have parenthesis something like this, this is not balanced parenthesis and also this is also not balanced parenthesis. So I hope you got an idea regarding what balanced parenthesis is. Now let us design CFG for the for to accept the same. Now, so this is all about balanced parenthesis for which we are going to design CFG. Now, let us identify the language set. What are the possible parenthesis that can be produced or accepted by the CFG that we are going to design? It can be this, it can be this, it can be this, it can also be this one and so on. Okay, <clears throat> so now let us design the CFG for this. Let us start with the start state. Yes. Now what it says is the solution is similar to the previous solution that we have discussed. There we said like for every A there is a B. Now here we can say for every open bracket of particular kind there should be a closing bracket of that particular kind. So how we can start? Let us start with the flower bracket first. It is this. Then it can be this then it can be this. Now this recursion has to be stopped. So in order to stop this recursion, let us, let us use epsilon. Now let us verify whether our CFG that we have designed is proper or not. Let us take this particular string into consideration and let us cross verify. So S derives, since it starts from flower bracket, okay flower bracket, now we have to use the rule number or production number 1 that is flower bracket yes flower bracket now next we have open brackets that so we have to use rule number 2 that is nothing but yes closing bracket closing flower bracket and since it has square bracket brackets we have to use rule number that is open square bracket, close square bracket, then closed small bracket, then closed flower bracket. Now we got our string. Now this recursion has to be stopped. For that we will be using epsilon. So when I use or when I replace this with epsilon, I get my string. So the simplest solution, I hope you understood. And I also hope that you are getting more confidence with respect to solution that is design of CFG. Thank you.